Hi there, Bob here. We're going to show and operate a, another style fourth generation ion engine. And uh, we'll explain a little more to it. This is a uh, Plus the nose cone and fairing, this is just a housing here, nose cone. This is just wiring, this is where the wiring comes together. Three inch cone, which is on the primary side of the pulse generator. This is the cylinder emitter, inch and a half in diameter by one inch depth. And the pulse generator is inside the cylinder emitter. We have the ground, of course, and set up on a rotating system. Okay, now we'll see. <clears throat> Get this thing up and running. We're running about, it's real low humidity. Uh, it's 35 percent. This is uh, April 23rd, 2013, very mild day, We're still in the mid-60s, I believe. I still have windows open anyways, and it's very comfortable. As you can see, it, it's right out. These are operated on a 2,000 volt potential Van de Graaff generator, it's a small one. I need the shield so I can run the uh, between the uh, Van de Graaff and the uh, ion engine because the Van de Graaff puts out such a strong field at the dome that it'll it'll affect the operation of the of the engine. It gets up and run it. Be running about 29 seconds velocity, not 29. Pardon me, 29 inches per second. It's about 3 RPM. Now, I'm sorry, it takes 3 seconds of rev, is what I mean, <coughs> and that comes out to 20 RPM. Now, it's doing quite well considering the real low humidity can. As a rule, I don't get this good a performance, but that's not happening. Running at 29.98 on the barometer reading. And this is inches of mercury. So we're doing pretty good. I'll Almost up to three uh, three res three seconds of rev. Yeah, it's good. It's a good three three seconds. It's just shy of it, actually. I'm going to let it run for a few more minutes, and we'll uh, see if it'll gain any more speed. As the longer you run these, they uh, actually do better. Up to four minutes. I'm going to let it run a little longer. I'll let it coast down. I'm going to shut the power off. Let's see what happens here. It should run, should rope, power down our revolution should be about six. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gaining many more. That's pretty good. 20, uh, 29 inches a second is very respectable for history of my uh, 
my design, so it's not too bad. It's, uh, I like the performance of it. Oh, by the way, I'm using the old rotating system. I made some changes in it. <coughs> I call them upgrades. But it's not real important here. Well, anyhow, that, that's the way it is. We're going to see how long it takes to get right here. We'll kill the engine or the power supply. That's one. So the turntable turns quite easy, very low drag. So it uh, it'll coast along for a while. We're at five RPM already. Uh, five five turns. I don't think it'll make a seven. That's six. If it makes seven, it'll be the first time <laughs> since I've had this thing assembled in this configuration. No, six and a half. Just about. All righty. Hey, I just wanted to show that. We'll put it up. See what you think about it. Bye.